my leg is, um, I don't know if you, I guess it's just more interesting. Uh, I, I kind of do my own like personal studies on people, like when I go and like, when I'm out and about, and like especially with the whole year of not being able to walk, I had a crutch everywhere, and when people don't see a leg, they immediately, they immediately look down and uh, <clears throat> they look down and then they, they, they're afraid to look at my face or something and then they like look back down again at the ground or at my, you know, I don't have a leg. And it's, I mean, it's just life, it's how it works. I'm not like, I don't get like sad or like disappointed about it, but um, it's just, it's interesting because now when I put on my leg, which is 100% mechanical, I can walk in, like I just noticed this, like I walked into the store at Walmart and if I would have, if I were to go to Walmart and get the Redbox movie or whatever, and like while I'm sitting there, and if I didn't have my if I didn't have my leg on and I had crutch, I'd have people staring at my leg like constantly. Like I wear like you know like wondering what happened. But then I put my leg on and um, when I'm there, just because I'm standing and not leaning on anything, like nobody even looks down once because like they just see I'm upright and like it was kind of like it was interesting. I mean it was a big mental game even for me. Like when it first happened when I came home from the hospital. It was insanely hard to like look at myself like crutching up to a car because I could see myself and it was nothing like I remembered. I remembered seeing somebody who was, um, you know, you know, slightly athletic. Like I, you know, I could get around pretty easily. I was I was very lucky that way. But um, after the accident, definitely I learned how to like I learned I was taking things for granted 100%. And um, I just put the silicone sleeve on so that it has padding in between the boot. This is like totally open. It's got a vacuum seal, and um, in order to properly vacuum it, I have to actually put the seal on over my silicone sleeve. Um, so I'll just, I'm just gonna throw it out real quick. My process was very big on the vacuum idea. So he installed a vacuum that is actually on the bottom of the prosthetic, so it holds on to my leg better. Um, and then this is for the knee. I have to charge um, the knee up. It takes 50 algorithms a second. Um, so <laughs> it's constantly checking uh, my paces, how fast I'm going, if I'm going uphill and everything. It's banking every single information, um, every single thing of what I'm doing and knows. But, um, uh, yeah, so this is the temporary leg actually. This, this is gonna this vacuum process that's happening right now is creating about 23 to 30 psi in, inside the boot. Um, this is all carbon fiber, and yeah, so the next boot is gonna have is gonna be more specified than the leg after it shrinks. So when it shrinks completely, which is done, it's completely shrunk. So it's gonna have more open openness here for better suction, so it'll actually create more muscle on my limb. And, um, but it's kind of unfortunate because he's gonna have to take out my bottle opener I had installed in the carbon fiber. Um, yeah, I was still doing it, I did not give up because I, I, saw, I saw a future, and I saw a future that was better than I saw before. Like, I, um, I was able to actually get I like get life a lot better. I think what the accident taught me in two months, I wouldn't have learned in 10 years. Um, I came at it a whole new respect. I mean, I do the work. Um, I do the work like I used to. Um, I mean, I, even with one leg, I was like, my buddies who helped me with the business, they, they'll, they've even seen me pulling bushes out with one leg. I'd like hop off the mower and I'd chain it up and I just pulled the bush out and I lined them all, I lined up eight bushes and I would hop off the mower, like hop over and uh, um, just wrap it up and, uh, and pull them out and line them all up perfectly so that the guys could pick them up and throw them on the truck. And uh, you know, stuff like that, that like I, you know, once you get down and, and sad and you know, like when this happens, because I'm gonna be honest with you, it's, it's life, like that's, you're gonna be sad when you lose something that, that's, in, like, is, that's this important. And, um, you know, I let myself get there, but, like, I let myself get up, like, right after. Like, I let myself get down to the lowest, and I, and I knew that I had to get there, so. Yeah. <laughs>